I don't, I don't want to talk about it. It's so stupid. Good morning. That was a weird good morning. Happy. I was going to say something that goes with Tuesday, but nothing goes with Tuesday. Happy terrific Tuesday. Today's going to be the best day ever. Because yesterday wasn't that bad. Things are turning around and they are getting better. Except for I should have left like five minutes ago. Ooh, green light. Yes. And now that I have to drive like a snail because the police have nothing better to do in Alpharetta except for pull people over because there's like no crime there. There's probably crime where I live because the police are just usually busy. See the spring stand up. That was my um my ghetto shout out. So I hope everyone has the best day ever. I have a meeting today with my main supervisor. Well my sales supervisor, so hopefully it's insightful and inspiring and It'll be for the better of the betters. So I'm gonna rock out. Put my hands up like the ceiling can't hold us. Okay, so you ever just like walk around your house or apartment or whatever and say, hmm, why is the fridge open? I have no idea. Cause this little crazy nugget's being a crazy nugget. Look at your wet face. Cause you just dipped your whole face in your water bottle. He had his first um, class today for intermediate obedience <laughs> and he did really good I decided to take him to a different school for intermediate because I don't I don't know I liked the fancy schmancy place where I took him and it was a lot of money and I guess it was worth it but I really just meshed better with the guy at Petco because I talked to him one day when I was in the store and I was like I told him my issues Wait, how can I talk and pour water at the same time? I know. We'll put it on a drip. I told him, like, my issue, but then it's never going to get full. Hang on. Okay, so I told him, like, you know, my issues with the class where I was going and my concerns. I got, like, I don't know. I liked his vibe. I mean, like, I don't like him. Like, I don't want to, like, go out. But as a trainer, I like his vibe. And he's also not, like, small dog-ish. Small dog racist. I don't, I don't want to say that, but I feel like... She had an issue communicating with me on how to work with a small dog because when you're trying to like lure and do certain motions, you have to realize that when a dog is up here to you, and then, I mean it was mostly puppies in the class like ages like five months to like, I think, yeah, like five, six, seven months. It was like a range. So like they're big dogs, so they're up to here. Like my legs are so gross. <laughs> but like for me to do something with Bentley, it's down here. And I had to explain that to her. I'm like, you don't have to tailor the class for me, but I like barbecue sauce. I guess I'm the crazy one with my head everywhere. Like I have to tailor the mechanics of what you want me to do. So that way like I can do it on him. And I just felt like she was like, what do you mean? Like she thought I didn't understand. And I do understand. I just needed to modify it. And I need her to modify. I don't. I don't want to talk about it. It's so stupid. So <laughs> I am no longer going to a fancy schmancy military dog training class. He's never going to be in an obedience trial or whatever. Like I just want an obedient, well-mannered dog at home that knows how to sit and stay and walk on a loose leash. And probably never off leash because that scares me. But you guys know me, so you know what I want. Look what he wants. He wants to give you the closest. I'm cleaning up this hurricane of an apartment. I don't know what happened. And now that the class is at the pet store, I buy things. Well, I bought things. I was gonna buy those anyways because I use them to stuff Kongs. Oh, I just bought my nail in the wall. Because this one needs to go in the garbage. Because you're only supposed to leave them refrigerated for like a couple of days. And I don't, since I don't remember when I last opened this one. 
I'm just gonna throw it out. Because my mama taught me that when in doubt, you throw it out. And there is one for wearing clothes. Like, if you doubt, don't, oh, if in doubt, doubt, don't wear it out. That's so stupid. So he is just really hyper. Like, I think he's toning down now, but he was like running all over the house. He took, I had to get a new bed for his crate because he attacked this one and got all the stuffing out because he's a little bastard. Where'd you go, you little bastard? Could probably just like re sew it, but he's just gonna do it again. I'm gonna have to come home to like freaking weirdness everywhere. I hope he didn't eat any of this. If I see any of this in your poop, it's probably gonna hurt when you poop. Then I got this. And I realized this was probably a bad idea. I probably should have just got another bed because he treats the bed normal. But I put this in there. I'm like, he had a nice little comfy mat. And he took it out. He was like surfboarding it across the room. I'm like, bro, comete, relax. Oh, um, forgot username. Um, this is also what I use for tear stains, the Basha Mom. Eye relief, advanced eye relief. I can't read. Because you want the first ingredient to be, I think it's boric acid, but the good boric acid, not like the scary boric acid that you kill cucarachas with. So you can try this too um, on the stained area and pat it dry. Hi, my honey. And that was bad, and I got a cheeseburger from Burger King because when we have class, we get to eat out, and I'm addicted to pickles. Is it just me, or when you eat a really good pickle, does your eye twitch? I don't know what it is. I'm so retarded. They put mayonnaise on my burger. And I specifically said, no mayonnaise. And then I get home. I should have checked, but I have him in the car. And I check, and there's freaking mayonnaise. So it was only on the top, so I just didn't eat the top of it. The old Kendall would have drove back three miles and been like, take this back. Me and the Bubba's are going on a secret mission. I bet you can guess where we're going. Are you so excited, my honey? Yeah, it's going to be freaking awesome. That's a quick trip. How much fun? Are you having fun, my Bubba's? I'm going to get some gas so I can drive you around. What do you think it's going to stop at? Let's guess. Do you want to see my pen? This is my pen. Haha, <laughs> tricked you. Then it goes, one moment please. Remove nozzle. Receipt? Yes. Or no. They didn't ask me that. He's like, why are you, why are you in, out, out? I don't understand. I just want to give my mom the closest. She took me to the trick clip in the middle of the night. She needs to get her ish together. She ratchet. Ah, oh, it's still going. I could do so much for $22. I think it's gonna stop at $37.47. If it stops at $40, I'm gonna be angry. $37.47. Ooh, good savings for me. $35.83, 10 gallons. Lego. And then I always get the extra, because there's always one more scoop. But me and the bubbles are gonna call it a night at the quick trip. Say goodbye to all your frenzies. Bye guys. Kisses. Bye.